What's up guys? Just wanted to shoot a quick one. Uh, picked up picked up a few tools, shoot a quick tool haul. Also uh, show off some new merch I got. Show you guys some of the stickers I got for the channel. I picked up some uh, Nipex pliers and then I got some uh, gear wrench, ratcheting wrenches. Just wanted to check you guys out, kind of run through it real quick. Uh, picked up a few other little things. Just wanted to start off by showing you guys this uh, these stickers for the channel. Check these out guys, pretty cool. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I got the stickers in, JRC54, got them in uh, black, blue, white, and red, uh, probably got some more colors on the way. I'll be selling these pretty much five bucks a piece. Uh, you guys want one, let me know, hit me up on my uh, PayPal, maybe with the shipping, or DM me on Instagram. Uh, I got my Instagram link in the bio page on YouTube but uh, five bucks a piece I figure what I'm gonna do is uh, anybody that buys more than two stickers uh, from me is automatically entered in the 2000 sub giveaway for the, the snap-on Solus Ultra I got that thing pulled out here right here broke it out I look at this thing once a week man I love this scanner Whoever wins this thing, man, I, ho I hope you guys love it. I hope you guys use it. This thing is awesome. I had it on the other day. I was messing around with it. It seems, it seems to be working. Maybe I'll put it on a car or something. Um, obviously, I picked that up for a giveaway only. I already have a scanner. So, But yeah, guys, anybody that gets the $5 sticker, they're 6x6. Six six. Anybody that buys two or more off me, their name's automatically in the two-sub giveaway. Um, you know, that's not the only way to get in the giveaway, but uh, it's a fast, easy way to get in. And, you know, all the money support goes back toward the channel and supporting helping techs. So check that out. But, guys, check out these, uh, check out these tools I picked up and get you guys set up. So, of course, had to pick up them Nipex. I call them Nipex. You guys could call them whatever. Kinepex, whatever. Um, Kinepex, whatever. I call them Nipex. I got the uh, the multi-purpose pliers. These are ones one with the with the cam in there. Uh, obviously, they got they're slotted for adjusting. Little spring-loaded lock on there. You guys can see, but uh, these things are awesome. Uh, seen some reviews on these. Been wanting to pick these up for a while, but you know, just really got other priorities. But finally, finally broke down and got them. These things are awesome. If you guys you guys hasn't seen these, I, I had these out earlier. I was messing around with things, tightening bolts all around the shop and things like that. These things work really cool. These uh, there's no there's no serrations in there, so it doesn't chew up any of the metal or the fasteners you're trying to tighten down. Um, real nice handle on them, but they seem really great. Definitely come pretty oiled up, but got those. They come in three different sets, three different sizes. You got the uh, seven inch, the 10 inch, and the 12 inch. They got some weight to them too. That 12 inch is pretty pretty heavy. I um, think you could pick these up. I, I got these straight from Nip, Nipex. No uh, reband from Snap-on or Cornwell or any other tool trucks. Got them straight from Nip, Nipex online. Uh, I think I paid maybe 140 or something. 130, 139, 135. Pretty good deal. I want to say that's the part number right there. 002006. US2. Pretty nice set though. You can kind of see it doesn't mar up the metal and all that stuff. So I'm sure you guys seen these. Had to pick them up though. So I got those. And then I got the uh, the Cobra pliers from Nipex. These things are another beast. These things are awesome. Seen some reviews on these. I've actually I've actually used, uh, I think, the middle pair before uh, Tech had it, and I, uh, I used them. 
but you know all my other players are kind of getting worn out you know snap on ones don't really do what these do but same thing with these they got kind of that spring action locking mechanism for adjustment in there and uh, I mean these things these things grip hard nice teeth on there real sharp you can see I was playing around with it earlier it's got some red paint on there I was putting it on my cart seeing how they hold up I've seen guys stand on these so and then in this kit's got the uh, got a 7 inch 10 inch and a 12 inch so these could go in the plier drawer red handle like I said guys soon enough man all snap on all red handles um, also picked up some new uh, vice grips uh, vice grip knockoffs they look the same got them from Napa but part number on these Cobra plier professional plier set 002006 US1 I believe that's the part number and then yeah these things real grip obviously they got plumber stuff on here but you guys know in the automotive world we could use these just as much as plumbers or carpenters or anybody else can got some of the specs on there and things like that how long they are so picked up those these I think I wanted to pay I think I paid a little bit more for these maybe 145 or 150 or something I got guys check eBay check Amazon I mean that's where you're gonna find the tool deals uh, obviously getting them off the truck there's gonna be a little bit of a markup if you're getting it through you know snap-on or Cornwell or Maco if they got them on the Maco truck and snap-on trucks and stuff but you know if you guys could get them I mean you know don't pay the markup for these things um, just get them offline get them straight from Nipex or wherever you know Amazon Tooltopia things like that and then uh, picked up some gear wrenches don't know what happened here maybe maybe they got bent in shipping or something like that but now they're cool boomerangs um, no, I'm just kidding, guys. I always wanted these half moon wrenches. Um, I had a, I had an old Pronto set years ago, but they didn't ratchet. But these things are, uh, they seem, they seem nice. I mean, they're, they're thick. You could tell they're built well. It's got the reversible ratcheting on both ends, so you go to, you're going to reach around that exhaust manifold bolt or whatever around the alternator to get to that bolt. They got a decent throw on them too. I think the, the box had about five degrees or something like that is all you need to get that gear to turn. So I got these. They skip a few sizes in here. They got uh, a 10 and 12. They got the 11 and 13, uh, 14, 16, 15, 17, and 19, 22. I don't know what's up with 18 and 21. I mean, that's a pretty important one for me. I wish they, uh, wish they would have added that in there, at least an 18. Um, but yeah, it came in a five-piece set. I really didn't see an 18 and 21. I don't know if Gear Wrench makes it or whatever, but nice little set. Comes in a little case. Case is pretty heavy, but um, I'll probably end up just throwing these in the wrench drawer. Get the wrench drawer cleaned up, make some room for these in there. Uh, what's the part number? What do we got here? Gear Wrench 9850. This is the metric ones, obviously. So pick that up. Can't remember what I paid for this one. And then I got another gear wrench. Ain't nothing wrong with gear wrench. I've been using gear wrench for years. Obviously, you got the lifetime warranty. You know, they're on the tool trucks. I it's you know, I got snap-on wrenches too, but you know, gear wrench for ratcheting wrenches is the way to go. I got the stubbies, I got them all, I got the extra long ones. Um, I like gear wrench, you know, I like Nipex too, but gear wrench is the uh, the way to go. I use my snap-on ones too, but I also got an old husky set that I still use. So, hey, if it, if it turns a fastener, it's good enough for me. It doesn't break in your hand. I like it. So these, little, little, little case, part number on this one is the uh, 85299. You see right there. Let's get the, uh, you know, the S-style ones. Same thing, 19, 21, 22, same as that other one. 19, 22, 15, 17, 14, 15, or 14, 16. I don't know why they'd have a 16 in there. I'd rather have an 18 than a 16. And then I got something on the web about C right Alexa, CS quiet. Same thing, 19, or, Siri, quiet. Same as two. Sorry about that, guys. Siri started trying to talk to me. Um, but yeah, I it's wish. All good. So yeah, I wish that, you know, instead of the 16 in this set, I wish it had uh, the 18 in there or whatever, but it does have a 16, 14, 16, as I was saying. 11 13 and then the 10 12 so but yeah these are these are pretty nice i mean look how thick that is guys that's for, that's for the 10 and 12 one 
nice throw on them. But yeah, I mean, getting around tight areas, these things will be handy. These things will work out pretty handy. I've wanted these for a while. I just, like I said, I've wanted, I've had priorities, you know. Um, but there's times working on these cars that, you know, these would have came in real great, especially the half moons. That's, uh, you know, a lot of those older cars you use them, but I, I, still, I still find ways to use these things. Um, finally, finally knocked another one off the bucket list, off the want list for these tools. So, picked that one up. And then I got, uh, I picked up a bunch of, uh, walked in Napa the other day to, uh, I don't know, pick up some parts or something. I forgot what I was getting, maybe some brake parts or something like that. They didn't have a driver, so they were down the street from me, so I shot over there to pick them up real quick, had a waiter customer. But uh, I seen these were on clearance, and uh, you know my my vice grips are getting old. They're, the teeth are getting worn out, so picked up a whole set. These things are just like Irwin. I mean everything. I, I compared them. Let's see. I'll grab a set out. All right, guys. So I grabbed, I grabbed a set of uh, Vice Grip, the original. Pretty much, uh, Irwin makes these. You can see this is an older one. I actually welded a uh, a nut on here to put it on the slide hammer, and that was before Snap-on made them. I, I did that years ago. Put it on the end of the slide hammer and pull axles out or whatever gets stuck. Clamp it on there. But uh, these things are pretty much the same. I mean. I was looking at the front of it. Obviously, these teeth are all worn out on these, you know, because I, I used the crap out of these, but pretty much the same. They're solid. So, I mean, I got them. I think I paid five bucks a piece for these things. Maybe five bucks for the bigger set, five a piece for those. These were maybe four bucks and then three bucks for these on clearance. So, you can't beat it. Yeah, and they're the exact same size and everything. So, get these off in the drawer. You can see pretty much. Same stuff. I mean, it's still got the same hole in it, same spring, but we'll see how they work out. I don't know who actually makes these. They say CRV on there. Part number 774-3400 for the the non -groo the grooved ones. Here's the straight jaw, 774-3410. And then we got the smaller version, the seven inch ones. Got uh, 774-3407, flat ones, and then here's the curved jaw, 774-3401. The straight needle nose, bigger pair, this one's uh, what, 9 inch, 774-3404. And then the smaller, what, 3, 4 inches, 6 inch here, 774-3405 uh, for the small ones. And I have all these, but they're all worn out. I mean, these things, you know, they get kind of rusty. They get a little grease on them. You forget to wipe them off. These ones, I think I actually left under a hood or something. Um, you know, the chrome starts coming off and all that stuff. So, and I could still use these, but, you know, my vice grips, I beat on them. You know, I put vice grips on them. I'm, I'm heating things up with these vice grips on there. They get hot. They get dirty. They get cold. Things like that. And then I also picked up a small, I'm not sure if this is uh, re-licensed stuff, but, uh, a little stainless steel wire brush. Um, I see the Snap-on logo on there looks kind of wonky, um, but it does have a part number. I didn't get this off the Snap-on truck, but uh, probably just a company that licensed it. Snap-on sold the licensings too, but I like the extra long bristles on here. It's better than a normal wire brush, the smaller ones, so I picked that up too. So, But that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, guys, quick tool haul. Just wanted to go through it. Let me know what you guys think about those gear wrenches. I mean, I, I've used them for years. I love them. They, you know, you get here, here and near that skips, but that's just like any other ratcheting wrench. You know, blue point, snap on, whatever you use. I mean, if you use these things enough, you know, a little tooth is going to break, you know, but they're, they got the warranty just as good. And the Nipex, man, I love them. I'm probably going to get some more uh, specialty Nipex pliers, maybe fill up the drawer with, you know, snap on, anything red handled, snap on, Nipex. Freaking, uh, you know, maybe not Mac, but any other brands that have red handles and are built well. Um, but as far as the merch, guys, like I said, I, I got an Instagram account. You guys could check it out in my bio. Follow me on Instagram. Um, if you're interested in one of the stickers, support the channel, help text. 
Um, also get in the raffle for the 2K giveaway on that Solus Ultra. Um, it's a great scanner. Don't miss out on it, guys. Uh, but anybody that buys two or more, five bucks a piece, hit me up on uh, Instagram, DM, if you're interested in buying some stickers, or uh, hit me up on PayPal, just with a shipping address. I'll get them off to you. You know, name, address, things like that. Um, we'll get these stickers off to you. Like I said, guys, I got more colors coming. I got pink coming, yellow, and green coming still. We'll see how these ones go, and got to have all the colors, you know. So here's what they look like, too. I stuck one on the box. Turned out pretty sick. Come on, guys. You know, you know that. You know that looks like me. Design that. Design that myself. Look at that. But uh, as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me a comment on these gear wrenches, things like that. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment. Let me, let me know what you guys think of the channel artwork that I made. These uh, vinyl decals. Um, get one of these shipped off to you if you guys want them. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Signing out.